Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one interesting case of lead poisoning. So let's start. So the case description is a six-year-old male child of a painter is brought to the pediatric OPD by mother with history of repeated attack of abdominal pain, irritability, constipation for past two months. On examination, child was anemic, irritable and lacked attention. And following are the results of various laboratory investigations. In the laboratory investigations, HB was 8 gram per deciliter that is reduced. Normal level is 12 to 15 gram per deciliter. Blood lead level is 45 milligram per deciliter that is increased. Normal level is less than 1 milligram per deciliter. And peripheral smear shows microcytic hypochromic anemia with basophilic stippling of RBC and ring sideroblast is seen in the bone marrow examination. This is the picture of basophilic stippling. This is the basophilic stippling which is also known as the punctate basophilia in which basophil granules is dispersed in the cytosol of the RBCs so which is seen in the peripheral smear examination. And in the bone marrow examination, there is a presence of ringed sideroblast. Now let's see the question. The first question is, what is the probable diagnosis? So from the hint given in the description box, the patient is son of painter. That is the first hint. Fine. Second hint is of classical clinical presentation. That is, person is having abdominal pain, irritability and constipation. On the investigation, there is a anemia that is microcytic hypochromic anemia. There is a reduction of HB level. There is an increased level of lead. And in the peripheral smear as well as in the bone marrow examination, there is a basophilic stippling and there is a ring sideroblast. So all these things point towards one diagnosis that is known as a plumboporphyria. Plumboporphyria is the acquired type of porphyria which occurs due to the lead poisoning and it also leads to the lead induced anemia. So that is the probable diagnosis. Now second question is why is the child anemic in the lead poisoning? So lead inhibits two enzymes in the heme synthetic pathway. First is the ALA dehydratase enzyme and the second one is the ferrochelatase enzyme. So as these two enzymes are inhibited, so there is no synthesis of heme and which leads to the anemia, particularly microcytic hypochromic anemia. So that is the reason of anemia and the lead poisoning. So that is the answer of second question. Now third question is, what are the risk factors for the lead poisoning? So the risk factors for the lead poisoning is the ingestion of the water which contain high amount of lead. Then there is a High lead paint or dust derived from the paint, contaminated soil as well as the secondary exposure from the occupational hazards such as workers who are working in the paint manufacturing industry, battery factories, mining industry and in the construction. Then toys, furniture and ceramic also contain lead. And due to this toys, furniture and ceramic also contain lead, children are very much vulnerable for the lead poisoning because Children have a habit to put all these things into the mouth and which results in a lead poisoning. So that are the risk factors for the lead poisoning. Then another question is, what is the acceptable level of lead in the blood? So the acceptable level of lead in the blood is less than 5 mg per deciliter. And the level at greater than 20 mg per deciliter, there will be the presence of vague abdominal pain, with constipation, irritability and attention deficit are noticed as we have already seen in the case description. In this particular patient, the lead level was 35 mg per deciliter. So that's why there was a presence of abdominal pain, constipation and irritability. And if the level is greater than 100 mg per deciliter, then there will be the involvement of nervous system, particularly the peripheral nerve involvement, which results in encephalopathy and even death may occur. So these are the acceptable level. So this is about the level of lead in the blood. Then another question is which enzyme is inhibited in the plumboporphyria? So we have already seen that uh, two enzymes are inhibited by the lead. In the plumboporphyria, the enzyme inhibited is the ALA dehydratase. And as this enzyme is inhibited, so ALA will increase in the blood and this ALA will also get excreted in the urine. Fine. 
तो इट रिजल्ट इन अ वेरी हाई लेवल ऑफ ए एल ए विच कॉज इज प्लम्बो पोरफाइरा विच इज प्योरली न्यूरोलॉजिकल पोरफाइरा तो दैट इज अबाउट द एंजाइम इनिबेटेड बाय द प्लम्बो पोरफाइरिया विच इज द एक्वा टाइप ऑफ पोरफाइरिया कॉज बाय द लैंड पॉइजनिंग लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज रिंग सिडेरोस्ट Ring sideroblast is the characteristic finding that you will see in case of blood poisoning in bone marrow. So, ring sideroblasts are basically iron-laden mitochondria in the red blood cell precursors, which occurs due to the inhibition of ferrogenesis by the lead. They are the iron-laden mitochondria in the red cell precursors, which occurs due to the inhibition of ferrogenesis by the lead. So, that is all about this case. these are the my references thank you for watching thank you